Comparing liability in bike versus electric scooter accidents. In today's rapidly evolving urban landscape, the choices for personal transportation have expanded beyond traditional options. Bicycles and electric scooters have surged in popularity, offering eco-friendly and convenient alternatives for daily commuting. However, with their increased presence on city streets, questions about liability in accidents involving these modes of transport have become more complex and pressing. Understanding the basics. Bicycles, often referred to as the original mode of human-powered transportation, have been in use for centuries. These two-wheeled wonders offer a familiar and reliable means of commuting. In the context of liability, bike accidents are generally more straightforward to navigate. When a cyclist is involved in an accident, liability typically falls on the party responsible for the collision, which can include negligent drivers, pedestrians, or road hazards. Bicycles are considered vehicles in most jurisdictions, and cyclists are expected to follow the same traffic rules as motorists. This means that when a cyclist is involved in an accident, fault is often determined by assessing whether the cyclist or another party violated traffic laws or acted negligently. Electric scooters, in contrast, represent a more recent addition to urban transportation. Their rapid proliferation has raised complex questions about liability, which are still evolving in the legal landscape. When an electric scooter accident occurs, the question of who is at fault can be much murkier than in traditional bicycle accidents. Liability can potentially extend to the rider, the scooter manufacturer, or even the city where the accident takes place, adding layers of complexity to the legal process. Electric scooters introduce unique challenges when it comes to rider behavior. Unlike bicycles, which are typically powered solely by human effort, Electric scooters are equipped with motors that allow for higher speeds and potentially riskier behavior. As a result, rider behavior plays a significant role in determining liability. Our experienced Denver scooter accident attorney can investigate your case and determine who is at fault. Speeding, reckless maneuvers, or riding under the influence of drugs or alcohol can all contribute to accidents, and in such cases, the rider is often deemed at fault. Factors influencing liability speed and recklessness responsible riding rental scooter services faulty equipment product liability laws recall and safety measures infrastructure and safety measures zoning and restrictions private spaces conclusion in the ever-changing landscape of urban transportation understanding liability in bike versus electric scooter accidents is essential while bike accidents often adhere to established legal norms rooted in centuries of precedent, electric scooter accidents bring a host of new challenges and uncertainties. Rider behavior, manufacturer responsibility, city regulations, legal precedents, and insurance considerations all contribute to the complex web of liability. As the popularity of these alternative modes of transportation continues to grow, it is crucial for riders, manufacturers, and cities to collaborate in creating safer streets and clearer liability standards. Ultimately, fostering a culture of responsible riding, promoting safety measures, and addressing legal gray areas will play pivotal roles in reducing accidents and ensuring that liability is appropriately assigned in cases involving bicycles and electric scooters.